Hello. In my uh, packet class workshop training, there is an exercise we do where we learn how to create uh, Hexdom files that can be imported in Wireshark because uh, Wireshark has an Hexdom import function. And, and it's a completely manual exercise where we format this uh, by hand by uh, looking at uh, the Heartbleed proof of concept uh, code, the SSL test uh, dot pi. There it contains uh, hex dumps of a couple of packets, and so we are going to look at that. But uh, recently, I wrote a 010 uh, editor script to automate this, and that's what I'm going to show you here. So let me edit SSL test. So as you can see here, we have our first packet. A second one and if we look at the code yeah you can see here a uh, socket is created for a, a, a socket stream so a TCP connection and uh, the hello bytes are sent and after the hello bytes you can see the HP the heartbeat bytes uh, being sent so we are now going to use my 010 editor script to analyze uh, these packets without having to run the proof of concept code. Now I select the bytes here and I launch my script. Wireshark export. It recognizes that I select that hex bytes, so uh, ask me to convert them to bytes, which I want to. So yes. And then you can see here that the bytes have been dumped with a counter starting. 0, 0 and ending at uh, E0 with a command telling you from where the data comes from. And now let's select the second packet here and my script rerun it again so it detects it as hex, yes, convert. So my script now detects that we already exported one packet and the second packet here is appended with the counter again starting at uh, zero, 00. So we can s save this uh, file to be imported in Wireshark. So let's call it uh, import like this. And now in Wireshark you can do file import from hexdump. And let's uh, select this file that we just created import here so and since this is uh, these bytes here are the content of a TCP stream we are going to have to create a dummy header a dummy TCP header let's say that the source port is 51000 and since we are dealing with SSL the destination port is 443 okay and now as you can see those two packets have been imported. So you can see that they are SSL version, TLS version 1.0, so that is hard coded. And all the data here. A lot of uh, cipher suits. And then uh, extensions, elliptic curve, and at the end you will see that we have the heartbeat extension and the second packet is a heartbeat request which you can see here TLS 1.0 it's a heartbeat message a request with a payload length and then without any data and that is actually the malformed packet which uh, causes uh, the heartbeat vulnerability to be exploited